Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create any of the animals, monster, birds, reptiles, fish, etc. by using the Spore Creature Cradle and import into Unreal Engine 5.4 to make it become a game avatar or NPC or any of the 3D monster in your Unreal Engine 5 game project. So start from now, I'm going to show you the step by step how to begin everything. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new 3D video tutorials or sharings, you receive the notification immediately. And you can just press like to like this video or save it. Alright, first what you need to do is just go to the Steam and download a game. The game is named Spore. Alright. This is the spore and I'm going to show you start from beginning I'm going to close the Unreal Engine O project file and start from the spore creature cradle it is on Steam just download this game and click play it is going to start and the spore creature creator is inside here Just wait for a few seconds, it is going to load into the spore. Close this, then click create. Then choose a cradle, you choose the creature cradle. Then you can just click this space outfitter and click. You can choose any of the monster and and then you modify it or you can just create your own monster first not only monster, you can create any of the animals you can see this is the, the main body, the main torso you can just click here click here to just start the patterns that you like alright, let's say this first you may just want to create a head alright, click, then scroll can move it then you can just choose a mouth from here and as there are more I'm going to just make it as fast as possible this is a mouth and I'm going to choose choose an eyes and next I'm going to just give a leg here Then here you can expand the tail. Right. Next you also can give give a hand. You can give him a lot of hands actually. It's not only one. Let's say if I give extra one here, it's up to you. Many hands. Right. Then you can choose some other parts. Say this. You can give some horns. Once you feel satisfied, next you can just test drive. See. Then go back to the build another. Then click the pin mode. Just give some color, some paint, just choose from here. Once you feel satisfied already, then just choose an, set some outfit, give a name first. I'm going to name this as Monster04. 
then click outfits then from here you can just choose some of the clothes that you want to give your monster or animal alright this is a hat alright then maybe you want to just give some some features Right, next, go to the pen mode. Oh, here, me, 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 me. Just wait for a while until it finishes loading of the texture. Then press Ctrl Shift C. Type Coleda Export and press Enter. Now, now you can see it already exported this 3D model as DAE file this location so at this moment you can close this prompt and just tick you can close the spore creature creator just press escape to quick the spore now the next we are going to find the 3d model just right click your file explorer Open the documents. Then it is under my spore creations, under the creature. Then your 3D model, and just now I already named that 3D model as Monster04. The DAE file is at here. First, we need to convert this DAE file to FBX. You have to open the Blender. The Blender 4.1, the Blender is a free software. You can download it from the Blender's official website. Next, press A and press delete button to delete everything from the blender. Click file, import DAE from documents, my spore creations, creature, the monster 04. This is, this is exactly the monster just now. Once you click it, then you have to click find bone chain, have to select it and auto connect to make sure all of the bones are normal then click import coleda now you can see your monster already imported turn on the material texture first and click the mesh click the empty area then click the mesh go to the material just de delete the, exi the existing material then click plus new under the base color click the yellow dots then go to the image texture to open Open from the same location, my spore creation under the document, my spore creations, creatures. Then look at the monster 04. The name is diffuse. Then click. Now you can see it is totally black. You still need to set one more material. Go to the shading. Then under the alpha, you change it to none. Then everything will look normal. Then back to the layouts here. Next, click the armature, go to the viewport display, click here, go to viewport display just to check you can see all of the bones and skeletons are ready. So at this moment, you can export it as FBX with embedded texture. Click file, export, FBX from on the desktop, I'm going to name this as Monster04 to make sure of the material texture embedded, the path mode you have to choose copy and turn this on, click export. Now the Monster04 already exported as FBX. Now next, close, just check your FBX file. Now you already can import it into Unreal Engine 5.4 So I'm going to launch the Unreal Engine 5.4 and start a fresh new game project 
and I'm going to show you from scratch, from beginning, from zero, how am I going to import it into Unreal Engine 5.4 to make it become a skeleton mesh that you can use it as MPC, MPC you can use it as a main avatar, you can retarget the animation blueprint. So I click game, create a third person game project, I click create. And everything will start from beginning. And at the beginning, I'm going to show you how to set up the material of this monster FBX file as well. Right now, this is a fresh new game project. This is the content browser, it's already here. Check the contents. I right click to create a, a new folder here and name this as monster04, double enter, then drag in to import the FBX. Just drag in and release your mouse. Make sure you import it as skeleton mesh. Import all. And close this conversation. Now, just have a check. The Monster 04 skeleton mesh is set here. Double click and have a check. Now everything, everything just look, look normal. Go to the character, just switch on the bones or hero keys. And now actually all of the bones can work properly. This is the head. Awesome. And how about the mouth? You can just try. You can see this monster is game ready just because of it is just a single mesh and at the same time it has just a single material texture. You check the material, it is only just one piece of material. It is really awesome. Close it. I try to drag it into the game project and I try to play the sample game. Now you can see this monster is already at here. You can use it as a game avatar. Alright. That's all for today about my tutorials on how to create any of the, the animals, monster, birds, reptiles, fish, dinosaur, etc. Just by using the spore creature creator and then import it into Unreal Engine 5.4 to make it become a game avatar or any of the NPC in your Unreal Engine 5.4 game project. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials, and sharings, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials, or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing. See you!